<coughs> she just ate a bug. And I've been a little sick. But it rain did it rain yesterday? Mm-mm. It did not rain yesterday. Um I couldn't remember. It was I guess I had slight chances of rain and there's slight chances of rain today a little bit, but uh it's not it shouldn't hinder anything. I wish it would rain for the grass seed. Mm-hmm. But um there will be a video coming out on uh, the Crockers later, and it'll have the uh, meetup uh, link to the hotel, uh, to the shirts and everything, and uh, you guys could uh, check all that out. We did a whole video yesterday, I believe that was yesterday, a um, whole video with all what we think the meetup is and gonna be and, and all of that stuff, but the actual... Uh, um, the important details of getting the hotel room and stuff and the shirts and whatnot. That'll come out on the Crockers later. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we'll uh, we'll throw it in, I don't know, different places here and there for you guys to uh, get it. Um, if for whatever reason you don't. Um, we ain't going to talk the whole mm-hmm. time about this, but all I would say is uh, book it. Within the first week, uh, they, the rate they gave us is good for the first week or something like that. And then um, you don't have to pay right then. No, I believe you can pay at. Yeah. And there's a 24-hour uh, cancellation if you're not going to be able to make it as long as you cancel it within uh, 24 hours. Now, you do have to put a credit card in, but you can cancel it, but they won't take the money out until yeah. uh, so you can- then. So use the link or if that's difficult if you want to like call say under a block i think it's the for the crackers they'll know if you're like hey i'm trying to do a youtube event on july 19th uh with the crackers they'll know exactly all you gotta do is say the crackers but um if you don't you talk about youtube and stuff they'll uh they'll figure it out um if you tell them the date so it'd be july 19th uh 20th and 21st and uh, yeah, it's, it's or gonna be. We just wanna come up on the, the night or the twentieth at yeah. CNJ's. You can Whatever. Uh, sleep in the parking lot at Walmart and uh, yeah. drive to CNJ's. I don't know. Um, Whatever. Yeah, I would do it if uh, someone you know was having some type of event that we wanted to go to and couldn't afford it. I'd gladly sleep in a Walmart parking lot. Mm-hmm. And then uh, go to it. Um, it's a free event. It's just uh, um, if you want to eat or drink or anything like that, you know, you can buy your own stuff. But other than that, just come hang out. Um, there's nothing to it, I guess, um, as far as uh, uh, having to pay or anything like that. Um, but uh, today there will be the video coming out, and I think you guys will like the progress of what we're doing and why we're doing it and what it's looking like and um yesterday you were a little under the weather so um yeah you may not see her too too much in the video um it's just she hasn't been feeling good um luckily you're on that yeah i feel better now yeah I, yesterday i just took like five naps <laughs> and then after that i was like i feel good yeah sometimes you just need your body to yeah be able to wrestle it can do its thing mm-hmm. um and then sometimes you need to get out and sweat it sweat out it, it depends out. Okay. on what's going on uh and I'm, I'm a big believer i guess in like a your body will tell you what's wrong uh you know yeah. listen to your body you can uh this may not be for me but probably 99 percent of other people out there um it'll tell you when you need water and you can drink water or you know whatever it may it's be it's crazy to me that i just don't really drink water <laughs> You know the feeling where you're just like, I need water. Jason never gets that. Mine's just like, I'm thirsty. And I'm going to drink whatever. But it's like, you know, you get a headache. You're just like, you feel like, ugh. It's just like, oh, I need water. But. <laughs> it's crazy. To, uh, I guess, flip the script on it. For the last, probably like two weeks, I've drank just almost nothing but water. I've done really well. And. uh yeah, proud of him. Yeah, so... We go through, like, a 24-pack of water bottles and, like... Pretty quick. 
two days. Yeah, pretty fast. Uh, but we do have a solution um, for that. We don't want to keep buying water bottles, and we don't want to hurt the planet and say, all those plastics. We're not doing the best for our world here. No, but, <laughs> but well, not even for ourselves, because then... And all the water, they put fluoride and chemicals and all the stuff. And the microplastics. Yeah, all sorts of stuff in there. And then, um, you know, depending on where it comes from, what's the plumbing look like? How old is it? Is it all nasty and yeah, I don't think corroded on the inside? I doubt it. <laughs> um, so, everyone knows we have a water well. And uh, I grew up drinking water well water. And then I started we got put on city water and then I didn't, I think that's the turning point, honestly. That's where you got messed up. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. uh, Riviera, city water, yeah. did you dirty? And it's probably just dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but, um, uh, I used to like drinking well water. So, um, we haven't really drank our well water just because there are no filters on it or anything right now, but they did test it and it's good. It's fine. Yeah. Um, I, I would drink it, I guess. Uh, it would be a lot better for us to drink that straight from the ground, filtered naturally, than, uh, you know, water through these chemical mm -hmm. places or city water or whatever. The, uh, the only thing is the hose. Has been sitting out yeah, there, but, but it doesn't stay full of water. Yeah. So it just kind of threw it, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, uh, so, we do have some with that. That'll be coming up shortly. And then, um, we're trying, we'll probably talk about this on the uh, Crockers or whatever, but you guys know we've been working on the fence and we've, the front fence and everything. And we need it all painted up uh, just because um, a couple of the panels uh, got pretty rusted out pretty quick. Um, it's just surface rust, but um, <clears throat> one of them was laying in the back. Um, it was an extra one, so we put it to the side, and it had fallen over, and it had rained, and it was on the ground, and it rusted pretty quick, and then, um, you also don't want your whole, uh, bottom bar just sitting in, on the ground, um, clearly you want as low as you can, because, uh, uh, the animals will see a spot and try to get out, but, um, if it's just sitting on the ground, it's gonna be wet in contact with the ground, it'll rust out fast, so, um, we do have the fence in the front all the way off the ground, but we need to paint it. Um, you don't want it to just rain for years and rust it out and all that. Um, or it won't, it would probably take forever to rust them out just getting rained on, but we don't want a big rusty fence in the front. Uh, we it's want like you do all the hard work, yeah. spend all the money on it. You're like, this is going to look good. Yeah. And then do the little fine details <laughs> at the end. Um, uh, so, Unfortunately, we're just not at the point to paint it, um, but we do have a, uh, a sprayer coming in. Uh, just letting y'all know, y'all are the real ones and stuff. Uh, we're going to have several uh, uh, sponsored things, some paid, some not. Uh, some of them are just, we'll give you the free product uh, for you to use, and then some of them are actually paid <clears throat> we, just all stuff that we need around here. Yeah, and we try, like, so today, um, in the Crocker video, there's a paid one. And, uh, you guys know, like, we did Magic Spoon. Um, we actually really like Magic Spoon. Um, they also, uh, pay us good money to, uh, to do it. And, uh, you know, I've seen some channels, and we watch, um... Uh, you know, comedy stuff. We watch a bunch of podcasts, stuff like that, and mm -hmm. every one of them gets on there, and then they'll just read the script, just, uh, you know, Magic Spoon, uh, why we're special. And then they'll just straight read it. They don't put a lot into it. I wonder it. if the YouTube algorithm would be good and put a uh, Magic Spoon commercial in. They might. Let's see. If you guys ba -da -ba 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 -ba. get it. <laughs> if you get a Magic Spoon commercial. I don't know why I did the Mario. It felt right. It just felt right. But, um, uh, we have a, uh, we have one coming out in the Crockers today, and our big thing is, um, and it always makes it get pushed, uh, that we, we get it done by the end of the deadline, then the beginning of the deadline. Um, this time we did really good, and I'm very proud of us for, uh, doing it, but, 
um, we try to actually incorporate it into the video. We try to make it where we're not just getting a uh, script and reading it. We're trying to... Um, we work for it. Yeah, and it's like the Magic Spoon one. Um, you know, I, I did it where I got the little pieces of cereal in front of a green screen and made it flip and did all this stuff or whatever. And, uh, um, you know, we filmed... Uh, different things for it, like trying to get the milk out of the fridge, and it, and I don't know if anyone recognized, but like even on the milk carton, I changed the whole label on it to where instead of it's whatever milk, the not so good milk company you've told me, uh, Fair, Life. Fair Life. Apparently, they don't treat their cows very fair, um, but I changed all that and uh, uh, made it say like Magic Spoon and stuff. So when we do stuff like that. Um, I think we're just kind of preaching to the choir anyways for you guys, but um, uh, it's it's something fun for us to be creative, and it's something um, pretty cool, like, we got all this Magic Spoon cereal now, and then we also got paid, and um, this is what's crazy, uh, and we're, we're talking over time, not just recently or anything, mm -hmm. um, our whole goal is to have our entire house built off of sponsored uh, um, videos mm -hmm. that way it's basically even though our job pays for it because we do YouTube and you know stuff like that and we film we put it out it's like if we can put a 60 second ad in and I know it can be kind of frustrating but to like break up the video we try to make it as good as possible yeah. but if we can put an ad in there and it can pay for and we do that a couple times in a couple different videos and it pays for our house yeah it, you would be crazy not to do it and it does uh, <laughs> so yeah, and I understand the breaking up the video. You'd be like, "Oh, he sold out," or you know, but we're doing it for our house. Yeah, and if you ever, again, we don't watch many YouTubers. Mm -hmm. To be completely honest, um, sometimes we don't even have the energy or anything at the end of the day just to watch our friends' yeah. um, YouTube channels. And uh, I, I, yeah, we love them. Well, <laughs> uh, we we assume they're probably like that sometimes as well, and uh, it's. You know, if you watch a channel and you see someone doing a product review or uh, uh, doing an ad or whatever for it, um, I know it could be annoying, and I know sometimes it is. If if it's like every video, then yeah, that's a little much. Yeah. But um, it it helps out, and luckily some of the stuff too that uh, we get without getting paid. They just want to send you the product, and then you have to work a deal with them. Because sometimes they want you to do an entire video based on it. They want a full blown review, and we don't like doing that. Um, we know that you guys don't prefer watching a full blown review, unless it's something that really, truly is something that all of us would want to see yeah. uh, be reviewed. Um, we try not to do it, but just understand it when these channels um, are putting videos out like that, because. Um, that means these product people are seeing like, hey, these people are worth sending something to. And then for us too, like we can afford to buy our own. Sometimes I'm almost like, I'd rather just buy that ourselves and not have to do a video. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we do, but sometimes um, when they send stuff, um, every bit of money that we don't have to spend buying something else we want goes into the house, goes into the animals, yeah. goes into our property. <laughs> I was going to say that too. It's like whenever we do get products... Yeah, that we're not having to spend our money on. Um, we get to it, buy more six packs of beer, and no. uh, it helps. It really helps. Is it? It is very expensive. Yeah, um, it, it adds up quick, and um, uh, this is just how funny it is. Uh, I went to Walmart. It's been a minute. Uh, two weeks ago, or whatever it is, I don't know. And uh, I think you were at work, and. I was going to buy a uh, pole uh, chainsaw um, pole extender that goes on the the weed eater. And I got there, and it was like a hundred and something, two or two hundred dollars, something like that, for the full kit. I'm like, I don't need all that. I just need the pole extension with the chainsaw on there to hook on our gas powered um, chainsaw. And I was like, I don't want to spend that. And I was like, I know we've gotten hit up before. And then literally, like, the next day, Badger hits us up and was like, hey, would you like to review this? And I'm like, 
Yes, I was going to spend my own money on and I even I think I even emailed them back then and said, I was going to spend my own money on this. It's something we need. So, yes, I would love to. Um, that wasn't a paid. No, they just gave it to us and they said, just integrate it in your video. It doesn't have to be a full-blown review video or nothing like that. And uh, I, I've used it since off-camera. Mm -hmm. And uh, the battery... Just like anything with batteries, it doesn't last as long as filling up a gas container and running a gas motor, yeah. but it worked great. And the beauty is, now I can take that part off and put it on my gas power chainsaw, and then we'd have to spend the $100, $200, and then the $100, $200 is what bought us the netting for the chickens that we needed, you know? So, um, <laughs> could we have bought both? Sure. But did it help? Absolutely. So, when you see these channels out there... And uh, doing these videos and you're like, oh, you know, also, if you really enjoy the person's channel and also this has nothing to do with us. Um, we we have no complaints with anything that's happened to our channel. Um, I guess just advice for anyone watching, especially smaller channels that you want to watch get bigger and bigger. When you see a, a review video and it's of, I don't know, a, a battery bank because they hit everybody up, mm -hmm. uh, a battery bank and you don't need one. Just turn the video on and walk away if you don't want to watch it because that helps show um, those uh, reviews because all these other um, companies watch. And whenever, whenever, or if you're a YouTuber and you want to get free stuff, just say do it. Um, go do your own review. Uh, buy whatever you, you want and you need and literally put review of blah 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 then you start getting an email these companies are looking for those videos because they are like oh these people do review videos mm -hmm. so these small channels that or even channels that don't really have um uh i wouldn't say small but maybe they don't um i don't know I, i'm trying not to offend anybody i don't care if you get offended i don't mean it this way i'll just say that um if you're if you're a channel not getting the views that you um, want but you also want the free um, stuff to like help you out on your property Journey. and stuff um, do your own review video and then I I can almost guarantee within a some point of time they're gonna start sending you emails check the email that you have for your YouTube channel mm -hmm. um, but um, if you're not into it and you're watching the channel put it on there and just let it play through because uh, those companies are gonna look at um, how many people watch the video. Uh, sometimes they ask for the retention time of the video. Sometimes uh, they have links. If they have a link, even if you're not going to buy it, click, click on the link, link and just click out because it shows that they got the interaction. And uh, because of that, um, you don't have to buy anything. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything money-wise, nothing like that. That helps that channel. And uh, it's the same thing if there's a small business on Facebook or whatever, um, you sharing it may put it in front of someone else. There's there's free ways to do stuff like that to help. Um, but as far as YouTube goes, that's kind of it. And um, uh, I guess my my advice to viewers is take it easy with the with the viewer. I mean, with the the channel. Um, you yourself would be excited to get free products. Um, just imagine if you're home and the TV pops up, they're like, would you like a free whatever? All you got to do is email us and we'll send you one because you're a, a valued viewer of this TV show. Yeah. You'd be like, heck yeah, I don't even need that, but I'll take it. Um, it's kind of the same thing with YouTube. I don't know why I went on this rant, but... Um, it felt right. It did. Um just know that, I guess. But um, I am excited um, for a couple of the um, review stuff that we're doing. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it started with water. Yeah. And we went. And so um, <laughs> that I, I truly am excited. I, as everyone knows, I'm not a water drinker. And mm -hmm. if the water from our well actually tastes good and it's filtered enough and it's nice and clean and all that, I mean, I would be, I would love it yeah. to be able to actually enjoy drinking water. Um, and then not having to buy, for one, like... It's not expensive. But it over, over time, well, yeah. if we go through, like, a big pack every two days, add that up Well, yeah. every month. Well, I was going to say, it's not the fact that it's, like, super that, expensive, but it does add... buying all that plastic and then putting all those 
all that in our body. That, that's just, what I was going to say. Is it's just would be a lot healthier for yeah. us if we I don't. Have a list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, water can get real expensive, but we always buy just whatever the cheapest, mm -hmm. which probably means it's like the worst for you. Oh yeah. Actually, probably the most expensive is probably they, you lied to. They ain't getting that out of a waterfall in Fiji. I know. They ain't doing that. It's probably all from the same company, honestly. Yeah, it's probably from our city water that gets uh, into the uh, septic and then they clean it all up and send it back out. Yeah. I don't know what we're drinking. We all just blindly do things in life. Because you need water. Yeah, but <laughs> it's just like, I don't know what's in it. Yeah. <laughs> we just, I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, that's kind of where we're at. I, I, it's pretty dark still. Um, Danielle was like, you want to go do coffee with Crockers outside? I was like, it's kind of dark and windy. The wind died down, <laughs> but it's still dark. Yeah. Um, what was that, yesterday or the day before? Um, about 6.30 in the morning, sun's out, bright. It's awesome. We can actually start going outside and mm -hmm. drink coffee again today. Not so much. Um, I guess we could have, but... Oh, the blinds are fixed, guys. Were the people upset? Yeah. The... Even your guy, Bush Brown, didn't like it. What was wrong with them? They were, you know, they were crooked. Oh. Uh, well, yeah. here's the issue. They're not even fixed. I just pushed it up against the thing. Don't mess it up! But it doesn't stay up no more. Yeah. Um, and so then if you just... You gotta kind of lodge it in there. Little camper tricks, you know? <laughs> yeah. We'll put that in a video, one of the 10 things you didn't know, 10 things you should know before buying a camper. Yeah. Um, one of the other things, too, I guess, um, you guys are awesome, and y'all let me talk about whatever I want, and no one ever stops me. No one stops me? Literally, no one ever stops me. It's I just only start, me that's here that I just start, stop you. I just start talking. You're too far away for me to squeeze your knee. That ain't going to gonna stop me either. Sign. That ain't going to stop me either. Um, we're, I guess no, it was the back of the neck. That's what it was. You kind of rubbed my back a little bit. In the camera. I said, hey, okay. I'm like, <laughs> That's a sign of this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Chase is going on a little rant. Um, but, uh. And then you would always be bad about she's squeezing my neck. <laughs> like, this is supposed to be. Incognito. Keep talking. Yeah, keep talking. I'll interrupt you from starting. Um, one of the things, too, is, uh, this week, <clears throat> for the past, I don't know how long, couple of weeks, whatever, we did uh, videos on the Crockers. Monday, Tuesday, went live Wednesday, then Thursday, Friday, took weekends off. And then this week, um, we put out the Monday, we skipped, went live Wednesday, skipped, posted on Friday. And uh, we, I think I feel like we've learned our balance. I feel like we've learned um, some weeks, this hustle, 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 hustle. And then some weeks, let the body recover, let the body, let the mind recover. Um, don't get burnt out. Do something fun. Um, treat yourself. Uh, you know, just mm -hmm. all that type of stuff. And um, we do know it helps with YouTube if you're consistent on whatever days. That's how you are. Like, yeah, it just it really helps. But it, I would, I'm going more for our mental state, and yeah. uh, you know, and. Um, I don't know what schedule. We really, if all else, it'll always be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But we, we do like to um, put them out a little more often during the week. And it, it pushes me to uh, to um, get the work done. And uh, But I'm never going to stress over, i got to get this video out. I'm, you know, I've done that in my life and, and in my career of YouTube and posting daily and never skipping a day, literally seven days a week. And um, I believe there's like a phase for everything. And uh, we're kind of at the phase of um, kind of like drinking water. Listen to your mind and body and it'll let you know what you need. And uh, this past week we kind of... Um, I wouldn't say we just slowed down or anything, but we didn't post as as much. And uh, it was a great week. It felt good. It felt relaxed. It felt um, mm -hmm. uh, not too worried because it did rain. It's, it's even getting darker now. It said it wasn't going to rain right now, but who knows? Um, but we yeah. just we just kind of listened to our ourselves and um, 
we had both worked the weekend uh, three days in a row. And uh, it's just like that. There ain't nothing worse than you working three days at the hospital and coming right out here and then jumping oh, right man. back into it. Fun fact, too. I put myself back into staffing. They don't get to speak normal. Um, I The last day, I pulled nurses around somebody to cover my position, and I went and worked bedside in the PICU again. She was a nurse again. Yeah. That's what she's trying to get it. Not the administration. Yeah. How'd you like it? It was a little rusty, but a little rough. Um, but also, at the same time, it was kind of nice getting back. Yeah, a little bit of a rush. Mm -hmm. But, <clears throat> yeah, it was it was a long weekend. You got to stay a little WD-40 up, baby. I know. I was there at the hospital for 13 and a half hours. That day? Yeah. Not within the three days. Okay. Um, so, coming off of that... I got sick. <laughs> but it'll, it'll do that when you're at around sick people all day. <laughs> and you run your body down. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. Um, but we're just uh, trying to listen to ourselves, I guess. Trying to make the smartest des decisions. And uh, it's it was great because it also um, it rained this week. And uh, we weren't stressed about anything. We had knocked out what we needed to do in the moment and, um, you know, threw the grass seed out and all that. And um, I'm trying to think if we, it could have been the week before when we did all the stuff, um, personal errands and whatnot. I don't remember. It's kind of. It's all blended yeah, together. Yeah, it's kind of all blended together. But we do have things in our personal life that, um, you know, as time goes on and stuff we'll be putting that out there and letting you guys know but mm -hmm. um we have stuff outside of youtube that we're doing that uh um it just it doesn't need to be said in videos it doesn't need to be addressed or uh talked about but we need that whole day to go do something or we need like a good amount of time to to take care of stuff or whatever it may be and um it just felt good that we we did it and we accomplished these things and mm -hmm. we're very very um not good at uh doing the things that we need to do even for like the meetup you know um mm -hmm. normally we'd wait till like the very like that's that's why we never even announced a meetup for the longest time yeah. or or really tried to plan because that's not who we are we don't like to we, we're very yeah, spontaneous we're very last minute yeah. we're very um um can't think of the right yeah, word. Not a but single, none of us are planners. Yeah, not a single one of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, it would help if like one person was good at that type of thing. But then we'd probably just be mad at each other all the time. That's true. If you were constantly trying to plan, it would stress me out. Vice versa. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, we we've taken care of that stuff. And to some people, we're like, oh, just be an adult. You know, um, our brains don't work like everyone else, and. Um, it's a superpower and it really helps us in certain spots of life and then some spots of life it just like paralyzes us and um, um, I'm thinking it's because we weren't stressing about pumping out videos weren't stressing about the work we knocked out our stuff we did what we needed to do mm -hmm. we took a little bit of time off we we could sit there and actually think about the things we need to do without thinking about stuff we need to do here and that's always the forefront yeah right? it's, it's like, like almost where you can't even see past it yeah it's like that's the only thing in front of your face only thing you can do or if you're do think about past it it's like but I can't leave here until I got to get this done. So we don't have time for that right now, you know? So it, it's one of those, but it just felt good to, to find that balance and, and, uh, um, not feel stressed about it. And we got the YouTube, um, meetup event fest, whatever you want to call it, just hang out, I guess we got that all taken care of. And, um, it just felt good to uh, get all that done and stuff in our personal life and all that. And it gives us stuff to um, uh, be excited about. We have something pretty much planned every month for the next several months. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's exciting. It's something, again, for us to look forward to. And it helps push through um, whenever it sucks. And you're, like, doing the, the same monotonous thing again and again and again. Uh, say you're working on the fence and now you got to put 
uh, the little wire clips on. You got to do it 300 times in a row. That's not how our brains work. And so um, we're just like, all right, well, if we knock this out today, that means we can go plan this for, you know, this month coming up. And we're excited for that. So I can sit there and do it. And um, always have something to look forward to. Yeah, have something to look forward to. And, um, you know, we have multiple things that we're very excited and looking forward to. And mm -hmm. um, I feel like we're figuring life out and we're figuring life out together and um it just uh it, it's just working um I, i'm glad it is and i'm glad that uh, uh you guys allow us as viewers to kind of uh go through the phases to figure things out and uh um, a lot of y'all again have been around forever and, um, I mean, literally y'all watched our relationship start and, uh, that's wild yeah. to me to think that people have been here for the last three years and watched all unfold and, and everything. And, you know, y'all still support as much as y'all do. And, uh, it means a lot to us that y'all yeah. encourage us just to be us and, uh, it's working. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen outside. It has literally just gotten darker and darker. I don't know if y'all can even tell from a little bit of the window, yeah. but I don't know what's going to happen today. And that's another thing that used to kind of stress is you have a big plan. You're going to do this. You're uh, going to do that. Rains. And then the rain hits or it gets super cold or super dark or whatever it may be. Oh, man, how are we going to do this? And then now it's just like, well, if it works out today, we can't do that. We'll go do this, you know. And um, yeah, I don't know. It It's nice to feel the way we're feeling and I hope it lasts a while. <laughs> <laughs> so remember this yeah so we'll let y'all go um we have been posting a little bit later than normal um we always try to shoot for that seven o'clock but um i think as we're filming yeah 724 right yeah now. so it's gonna be a little later yeah. uh but uh, we do appreciate y'all jumping in and supporting us and being the support system that y'all have always been and uh um am i right and then uh, just remember, uh, take it easy on some of them channels out there doing review videos and stuff like that. Um, they're just excited, and we get excited, and uh, um, it's just a cool opportunity. And uh, hopefully we can get somebody to send us some stuff, and then we can do giveaways for the uh, meetup with some of the stuff that we do get. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know how that'll work out, but we're going to try and uh, and and it'll be something exciting for you guys as well. Like it is for us be uh, basically full circle. So, all right guys, we'll catch you on the next one and hopefully you'll have a good day.